I got to start learning how to work together. How about that? Stop with the crab in the barrel mentality because that's the same mentality that brought Caitlyn down. The same mentality that y'all have with, with, with each other is the same mentality that you had with Caitlyn Clark when she came into the league because you could have used her as a springboard to get everything that y'all wanted. But instead, y'all pulled her ass down to be at the bottom with y'all. Crabs in a barrel mentality. Chocolate Blast. That's what you see when it comes to the damn WNBA. They keep talking about all these things they want and they, they, what they want to see happen. Well, somebody's here. Why are you not letting them do it? Oh, I know why. Because she ain't a part of y'all. <laughs>your boy chocolate with the sexy body i just want to say thank you for everybody who has been rocking with your boy the support has been real man i got members who done signed up with chocolate plays i love it thank you so much and if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops live streams and videos like this one. let's get into this thing all right look WNBA, you ain't gonna get too many more opportunities for this you're not gonna get too many more opportunities to make this thing work to get the bag Right, and if y'all are are hoping that Paige and Juju come in and have the same type of effect as Caitlin Clark has, y'all are absolutely wrong. You're absolutely wrong. The woman out there playing golf right now, and she's generating a crowd to a sport that she doesn't even play. It's not her sport. She's a basketball player, and she's probably a, like a part-time golfer. And she got lines of people lined up to come watch her play. She played at six o'clock in the morning. And people came out there and watched her play. It, it's incredible. They, you can even hear the people say it. They was like, man, it's a big crowd to be coming out here so early in the morning because they want to go watch Kayla Clark play. And she had a great time out there, too. Look, the, the, the LPGA has done a great job at, at promoting this. They've been talking it up all damn week for the last two weeks, the last month, saying what channel is going to be on golf. You can go and download the app, the FUBU app, so you can watch it for free. And then in your trial, they have been doing everything to market themselves and this damn girl playing golf in their league. Why isn't the WNBA saying anything? If I'm the WNBA, I'll be putting a picture of Kayla Clark playing golf. I'll be saying all these things. But y'all can't do it because you guys don't want to give her the praise. What are y'all thinking about? Are y'all thinking that Juju or Paige is going to come in and have the same type of effect that Kaylin has? You are absolutely wrong. You want to know how I know? Because Paige and Juju are playing basketball right now, and they still talking about Kaylin Clark more than them. They talking about Kaylin Clark playing golf, a sport that she don't play, over Juju and Paige in a sport that they say that they're supposed to be the next, the next thing coming. They keep talking about Paige supposed to be the next one. The next one what? Because Kaylin is still the absolute first one. I don't give a damn what you say about any of those women who've been in the WNBA before her. They have not been as much of an impact on the league and on a sport of basketball than this woman has in a damn year. In a year. What she has done for that league, y'all still don't want to promote her. How y'all keep dropping this ball? They keep handing it to y'all. She is having a blast out there playing golf. They have been big up in her ever since they heard she wanted to play golf. They've been welcoming her with open arms. Come on over here, Kaylin, and play with us. We don't mind. Not y'all in the WNBA. Y'all put y'all damn rough and tough mask on. Y'all you put your hat to the side. It was like, nah, Kaylin, don't bring your ass over here. We don't want you. That's what you should have said. We don't want you over here, Kaylin Clark. We don't need you. That's how they treat her, as if they don't need her. Look, that agenda that's being pushed in that league is a is an agenda that Kaitlyn Clark is not a part of. That the WNBA is a social activist unit. That's what it is. It's more that than it is sport. And that's why so many people couldn't get behind it because nobody wants to continue to keep hearing your political message coming from you basketball players. Nobody wants to continue to keep hearing about your social injustice from you basketball players. Y'all play basketball. I want to see you play basketball. I don't want to see you come out to tell me I, I need to be voting. I got to start learning how to work together. How about that? Stop with the crab in the barrel mentality because that's the same mentality that brought Caitlyn down. The same mentality that y'all have with, with, with each other is the same mentality that you had with Caitlyn Clark when she came into the league because you could have used her as a springboard to get everything that y'all wanted. But instead, y'all pulled her ass down to be at the bottom with y'all. Crabs in a barrel mentality. Chocolate Blast. That's what you see when it comes to the damn WNBA.
They keep talking about all these things they want and they, they, what they want to see happen. Well, somebody's here. Why are you not letting them do it? Oh, I know why. Because she ain't a part of y'all. Period. She ain't a part of y'all. She don't look like y'all. She ain't it. She's not a part of y'all. And, and, and even the girl, that, what's her name, Renee Montgomery, she said it. She really meant that, guys. They not like us, Kayla Clark. Look, you not like us. Straight up. That's what they, you not like us, Kayla Clark. We don't need you. They really feel that way. They feel like they don't need her. Otherwise, they wouldn't try to start no stupid ass extended league of the WNBA or whatever it is without the face of the damn WNBA. And no, I ain't talking about Asia. It ain't Asia. Stop trying to do that. Y'all trying to force that shit down people's throat when people came over to watch Kaylin. They, they came with her. They not going to sit over here and say, hey, we came and watched Kaylin since she's not there anymore. Let's go over there and watch all the rest of this nonsense. No. The treatment was terrible. Even before she even got there. And then you look at the LPGA and they like, girl, come on over here. We, we love to have you. Have fun. Now, look, guys, this is golf. They let somebody that's not even an amateur. She ain't no amateur. She's just, a, she's just regular. <laughs> she shoots low 80s. She's just a regular golfer. But they see her celebrity status. They see what she brings to the table. They see her personality. They see her behavior. They see what Kayla Clark is. That's somebody that you can get behind. She out there rocking Nike hats and Nike tops. She don't even got her own Nike shit for basketball. This is a terrible marketing plan by all of y'all and everybody to be fired. Y'all firing all these coaches in the WNBA? You better fire the marketing team, PRs, everybody to get their asses fired. Fire whoever the president is of this shit. The CEOs, everybody, vice president, clean house. <coughs> New regime. I don't want to see any of these people that have been in the WNBA anymore right now with how they to treat this girl and the lack of. It's the stupidest thing ever when you see the how everybody has lined up to go watch her play golf. Golf. WNBA, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself in the way that you did not market this damn girl. Pathetic. Guys, look, that's my time. I appreciate y'all stopping through the chill with your boy. If you're new to the channel, you know what you got to do. Hit that damn subscribe button. If you're going to watch the crew, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you know when your boy drop bells and live stream. I'm out this thing. Peace. Hey, I'm sorry for the pick I had. On Monday Night Football. <laughs> How did I know the Rams was going to go out there and lay a goose egg like that with them? Man, they was terrible out there. Oh, my goodness. They wasn't supposed to lose that game. Rams, are you serious? It's okay, though. Because the Eagles winning tonight. <laughs>